Wow. Okay, so $800 is quite a lot of money. I've been getting a lot of questions over the past couple days uh, asking me if I find that it's worth it or not, or what are my thoughts. So I'm gonna make this quick update for you guys to let you know what I think and to uh, disappoint you guys that are asking the question on if I think that it is worth it. I cannot answer that question for you, okay? There are so many variables that go into play. So before we go into that though, if you're not aware already, the Vive Pro was announced yesterday for $800. It is available for pre-order now, uh, releases next month, early next month, I think the 4th, April 5th? Somewhere around there. Anyway, uh, not the point of this. So that has been announced, $800 for just the headset. No trackers, no controllers, just the headset and the cables you need to plug it in. Okay, so that is somewhat, <laughs> somewhat correctly outraging a lot of people. That is a lot of money uh, and it is far more than a lot of people were expecting. So I've been asked quite a few times what I think about this. I used it at, at CES, uh, I had maybe a total of like 20 minutes with the headset total and these were kind of like rushed experiences so i don't have a like a huge amount of experience with it but i did try it and so i do i can definitely attest to the quality improvement as it is however the question on if i think that that price is worth it that is not a one size fits all question right like for me personally i think it's worth it for me for me to buy it uh it is because i use the vive a stupid amount of time, right? Like I spend, I spend hundreds and hundreds of hours in VR. Um, I have gotten so much distance out of the existing headset that I have. Um, the the Vive Pro, while it is a lot of money, I'm going to be using that a lot, right? So that increased resolution. Uh, the the extra comfort from the headset for me yeah that is worth it right uh, it's it hurts right it, it definitely hurt to hit that pre-order button uh, but at the end of the day yeah for me it's worth it but for for somebody else if you're only using it once or twice a week I don't know like I can't answer that question there's so many things that go into it uh, is the Vive currently comfortable enough for you do you have any issues with the current ability to read text like right now and probably for the next year I don't see any like titles that are going to come out for the Vive Pro that you cannot use on the Vive 1.0, right? Like, I don't think that they're going to be making a whole lot of apps that are going to need that really high increased resolution for you to play it. So do you need the Pro? Probably not. I don't I don't see a reason for that. Uh, is it nicer? Yeah, of course. So deciding if the resolution is enough of an increase uh, for you or deciding if the comfort is enough of an increase for you, that's a personal thing. Um, once I get the headset itself, I will do a more in-depth review and I will talk more like, uh, you know, actually comparing one headset to the other, which I haven't really had a chance to do, and tell you, is the increase like that dramatic of an improvement to upgrade or will it be worth to, like, you know, getting that package later on? So I'll have more information once I actually have the headset itself that as of right now, it's nice, all right? The Vive Pro, it is a fantastic improvement. Uh, the resolution, it is so, so much sharper. It feels so much better. The reduction of the screen door effect is, is so much nicer. The the weight, the distribution of the weight, the, the lack of weight, like there are so many things that are like really, really positive for this with the massive glaring negative of the price itself. So I wish that I could tell you if it's worth it for you. Uh, I can tell you that I like it uh, and I will be like anxiously waiting for it. As soon as I can get it, I will let you guys know more. More, but until that time comes, I can't really help. I'm sorry. All right, that is the end of this short little vlog type thing though, guys. I will see you all in the next video. If you like it, hit the like button. Let me know if you want to see more of these vlogs. If you don't, just hit the down vote button and tell me to drive them. Shut up. I want to see some games. <laughs>